Hello and welcome to Outdoors and Nat. Uh, today we're going to be walking around Mount Painter Nature Reserve. And so it's a bit wet today, we've got the rain cover on. Uh, so that's good, it provides protection for Georgie's legs and body, but she can still see out with that one. And this is a dog on leash park. So we've got Lou here for the adventure. He's got his raincoat on. We've had quite a bit of rain today. We're going to be doing a walk around the outside and then we'll walk up the top of Mount Painter. So the great thing about hiking with toddlers is that they don't actually know that most people think walking in the rain is a bit unpleasant. They just think, oh, let's go outside and play. Then they get wet and they're not too worried about getting wet. It's only when they get cold that that starts to become unpleasant for them. So if you can keep them warm, then they're pretty happy even if they get a bit damp because they don't have the same association that adults do with rain and bad weather. This first part of the walk, we're walking on a little footpath around the side of Mount Painter and there's paddocks below that have cattle in. They are part of the nature reserve. We've got the cattle in them, it's best to steer clear. So we'll walk around this section, then it will link up with a fire trail and then we'll head up to the top. So we got some male kangaroos down the bottom there, which we've just disturbed. You can always tell they're males by their muscliness. So big males, big muscles. So Lou thinks he's a much bigger dog than he actually is. He's on the hunt in his fluoro jacket. Doesn't know that that's going to make him be seen for a mile off. But got to love a toy poodle for confidence. So you can access Mount Painter Nature Reserve uh, just next to John Gorton Drive there. Not great parking, but it is a, an exit point or entry point where you can get in. This section along the bottom is not much more than an animal track. So you can just pick your way along. There is a road there, but it's a bit fenced in. So we're just walking along. We've just made it round to the southeastern edge of Mount Painter now, and we have the Black Mountain under the clouds there and you can just get a little glimpse of Lake Burley Griffin uh, in the distance as well. Just got our first glimpse of the summit so it's got a trig tower on the top and that's where we're about to head up to so we've got a fair bit of uphill here and might get a bit warm on our way upwards. Must be pretty wet, the worms are out today. So we've got one there, one here. So when the soil gets too wet, that means there's no oxygen left for the worm and they have to come to the surface. And so then they're out and about open to predators and can get eaten. To get up Mount Painter, there's two summit tracks, one from the northeast, which we're just about to head up to, to the top, and then one to the northwest and that's where we'll head down. So unlike other parts in the world, tracks in Australia think it's totally legitimate to go straight up and straight down any hill they want. So here we go, straight up and straight down. Instead of providing nice zigzags like you might get in Switzerland or somewhere where walking's a lot more popular, here we just build them straight up, straight down. So here we are just coming up to the top of Mount Painter now and joined in with the other trail. That's here, it's got a trig station, a nice sign and this sign is great. It tells you all the hills that you can see off in the Brindabillas, their elevations, really nice. Mount Painter has a really good panoramic view over Canberra and it's great because it doesn't have any trees on top and so that's really a good thing for the views. Maybe not such a good thing for the wildlife. You can see there's even clouds below us, a little bit wet. But we're doing pretty well. As I said at the start, you know, toddlers don't notice the rain. They just don't like being cold. So that's all there is to worry about. And you're toasty warm in your little hot box cocoon. As I've mentioned on previous videos, Mount Painter is an old volcano. And so it's got very similar geology to that of Mount Madura, Mount Ainsley 
and the Pinnacle Nature Reserve. Just like many locations that we have track building occurring, these rocks are not from this location. They're not a volcanic and so they're from somewhere else. To me, it really sticks out like a sore thumb. Not my favorite thing to see other rocks being carted in to be used in track building purposes. One of the nice things about walking in the rain is that you don't see any people and so we haven't seen anyone this whole entire walk and this is normally a very very popular walking spot as you can see by how much work they've put into the tracks making it tarmac on that main route up Mount Painter. So really nice, I always encourage people to get out no matter what the weather and you'll have a lovely time. It's got a pair of blue wrens in the bush over here, they were just singing. How wet does our weather dog say it is? I think he says it's wet. Thanks for watching Outdoors with Nat. Please subscribe if you have any questions or comments, put them down below and have a great outdoor adventure.